Code featuring Ronnie James Dio on the vocals. And uh, Dave is still here with us. So there's a show coming up that's like a, isn't it like a Ronnie James Dio tribute show or just like a show that goes towards his cancer? Yeah, um, on July 10th um, in Cortland at the uh, place called the J.M. McDonald Sports Complex, there's going to be a you know a tribute and a fundraising concert, um, you know to raise funds for the cancer society that um, that Wendy Dio's wife started after he passed away. So it's you know it's an all-day event. It starts at noon. Um, there's going to be all local musicians that you know are from the area that have played all different types of music. Um, you know, it'll be country. There's some jazz, some bluegrass, and you know of course some rock there. And um, basically a, a you know an honor of him and a way to raise money for the cancer fund. And also, um, we're starting a scholarship fund for him and his name uh, at the school too. So some of the money that we raise will go to that. And we're hoping that we can, you know, make this an ongoing thing. You know, Ronnie James Deal. It's Deal Day in Cortland on July 10th, and that's actually the date of his birthday. So um, it works out really well. So hopefully, this will be an annual event. But we're hoping a lot of people turn out for it, and I think a lot of people will. Very cool. So Randy, you had a question. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. I did. Do you remember? And I, I actually, if this, if this goes well, I plan on asking it tomorrow at Metal Fest while I'm interviewing bands. Uh -huh. But yeah, I, I had some. This is pretty much all purpose. If Buddy Holly had survived the plane crash, would Elvis Presley still be the king of rock and roll? Um, that 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 this is something that's <laughs> kind of important to me, and it just popped in my head today. God, I don't know. Um, I guess probably Elvis still would be the king of rock and roll, you know, as great as Buddy Holly was, but we'll never know because of what happened. We have to give the, give the crown, let uh, Elvis keep the crown. Good question, Good enough. Randy. Yes, I, I thought. You, you know, know it, people tomorrow probably won't know who either of them are. <laughs> no, yeah. I, we were discussing, Holly, never heard of him. I, that's why I was telling Bill, it's like, you know, this this should work fine with Dave, well, some of those kids, I, I don't know. Yeah, like They'll the all be like, what, that Weezer song? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they just might. Dude, yeah, the, the younger song? bands mm. on that show will probably be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but, you know, like some of the veterans and stuff will be like, Oh, sure. I don't know how to answer that, but that's pretty cool. Hey, I'm billing. I, I am willing to bet that Rose knows who Buddy Holly is. So. Oh, yeah. I, w oh, yeah. I wouldn't doubt that at all. So is there any plans to have uh, the back catalog re-released? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the band, we've talked about re-recording, redoing, you know, some of the songs maybe. And um, I think down the line you'll see mostly all of the stuff, be, you know, be reissued. You know, back in the in the '90s, there was a there was a label in Germany that reissued um, some of the albums on CD, which and they're not available anymore, but they were available for a few years. High voltage. Um, yeah, high voltage. But um, they didn't they didn't do all the albums. I think there was the Hollywood album and Heavier Than Thou. They didn't end up doing, but uh, they did the other ones. But I think that in the future you'll see like probably all the stuff be reissued. You know, and if you know, if we're lucky, we'll be able to do them on vinyl, you know, because that's a cool thing. That would definitely be cool. Yeah. I mean, when, when those high-voltage albums came out, did you see any money from that? They gave us, like, if I remember correctly, what was there, like five albums that they reissued, something like that? I think, um, yeah. They gave us, like, they gave, they gave us, like, $2,500, um, you know, as, as, uh, I guess you could have called it in advance, but we never heard another thing from them after that. So, you know, it's basically what we got. And, you know, for all I know, they could have sold 2 million records or 200 records. I don't know. We never got any kind of reporting or anything on that. So it, it was neat to see the stuff on um, on CD at the time, um, you know, after the, some years have gone by. So it was kind of cool for us. I mean, we probably would have said, go ahead and do it for nothing. Don't give us any money. But they offered us 2,500. So... We took that, and that was the last we heard of them. Hmm, I had another follow-up question to that. Totally forgot all about it, because uh, Lemon Recordings also put something out uh, from you guys, and was that, uh, that was sanctioned, too, through you? What song was that? Cause, um, the Wild Dogs record? Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't think it was, because, you know, we don't remember anything about that. I don't know. That wasn't, definitely wasn't sanctioned through us. I, I was surprised when I saw that myself because I didn't know what it was. That's weird. 
Yeah. Because I always hear that high voltage is the one that uh, basically just rips off people, and I don't I don't think they're around anymore. <clears throat> but they more or less were like a a bootleg. Yeah, we, I know I know that um, Carl and I both have tried to get a hold of the guy through high voltage for the last couple of years just to find out what's going on, and you know nobody can seem to find him or get a hold of him. So, did did they even use the master tapes, or did they just? No, I don't. I don't think they ever got the master tapes. I think they just took it from whatever, however they took it. You know, they might have even just Cassette. taken the vinyl and you know <laughs> recorded it and made a CD out of it or something. You know, like most of the time the bootlegs are done anyways. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, it's cool that it's available and it sounds good, but uh, yeah, that's just strange. Yeah, but that that would also be cool if uh, if Wendy's label reissued all of their uh, yeah. Well, now catalog. that now that we're with you know. Wendy and the Niji group, um, you know, it's great, you know, that we're with people that we can trust and that are honest, and it will be, you know, when there's a reissue, when something comes out, you know, it'll be the real deal, it'll be the real thing, and um, be done in the right way. You should do picture discs. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. Of course, they'd be expensive, but that doesn't matter. No. Nah. All right, we're going to play another new song, and then we'll come back. Um, this one's called Let It Rip, and... That's pretty much what this song does. <laughs> <laughs> 